Well, <laughs> I guess that's one way to call it quits. It's a little bit of snow slash hail. Unbelievable. Ow! <laughs> Well, we did pretty good. The reservoir is in, 1,000 gallon reservoir. Frame rocks are set, wing wall over there. Yep, it's not snow. But you can make snowball. <laughs> Try it. Look at Ed, such a child at heart. Hit the camera? Yeah. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be loud. Good. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. It's gonna be cool. Yeah. If you're down like, and you're enjoying it by this patio, slow it down a That's little bit. Crazy. If you're all the way inside, then crank, crank it, it up. up. Or your friends come over and you're wow. like, watch this. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh my God. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. All right, welcome back. This is episode number two. This episode is gonna be a whole lot more fun than the first one because we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of this whole thing. And that means we're gonna be putting our reservoir in, backfilling, getting some concrete cloth and stuff back in there, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And then more importantly, the fun part, the reason that guy and myself continue to love our job so much, we're gonna actually start building our waterfall. So as soon as everything gets backfilled, we'll start strapping up boulders, bringing them down here, and it's gonna be hairy. So hang on. picking out rocks and at this point they're talking to me they're talking to Ed and when there's so many talking to you you just want to be like stop the noise for like a second right <laughs> you'll all get your opportunity just wait wait hey guys looks like you're pretty good here can I take a couple guys down to visit Jay at prehistoric pep see our project ad we get a decision like yeah, <laughs> if, never, I said, never if I said no, would you stay? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> Have fun. Uh, <laughs> next stop, Jay at Prehistoric Pets. Someday this company's gonna be ours. <laughs> and there'll be no field trips like this. When you come to work, you come to work. <laughs> come to work. Exactly. <laughs> okay, we are at Prehistoric Pets, hour and what, 15 minutes from Laura Cleary's. But when in Rome, let's go see some cool animals. Guy going wild. Woo! <laughs> get a little, put a little baby up there. And then they climb all the way up that. Baby, is that a lot of red ear sliders or what? Look at it, got Paku down here. There she is. What is this? This is the aquascape ecosystem pond that four years ago when I met Jay, we put in. And I got to hear his whole life story, so they put all of the baby red ear sliders in here. Every now and then we hit a snag on a job site and it's usually like an electric line, irrigation, maybe cable TV, maybe rocks didn't show up on time. This time, it's actually the first time in 27 years of building ponds I've seen this happen, but our drone guy, you, <laughs> not you guys, the guy behind you, is flying the drone, somehow hit the chimney and managed to land the thing. You can actually see the red dot to the drone sitting on the chimney up there. And the challenge is not only is it up on the top of the house and we don't have a ladder or anything like that, but it's sitting so close to the chimney we can't take off because the blades are hitting the chimney. Hey, way to go, first timer. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so excavation is done. Oh my gosh. Is that better? Hmm? <laughs> 
Excavation is done. The hole is approximately nine foot by 12 foot, two feet deep. We always go a little bit deeper than the aqua box to give it that pooled up look. So you can see Ed and Dorito over here laying out the aqua box. So we always roughly lay them out before we put them in the hole. You can see we've got a little bit of room over in here just so we can backfill into it. It always makes it easier. So we'll get these in here. We're gonna lay out where our vaults go, which will probably be someplace over in this area. You can see Ed just kind of fine tuning this stuff. So he gets those all lined up. We'll get these guys all laid in here. After this, we're gonna pull all this stuff back out, get in our fabric, our liner, fabric again, then our aqua box. Up today. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, what am I what are we gonna do, buddy? What can we do? find something to bite you? I no. <laughs> yes. I've already, got, I've already got an alligator bite there. I would like to see how big is that big snapping turtle you got in there? Not giant. 120 I got pounds? Some, I got something cooler. You already have a I'm comfortable with turtles, you know this. I would normally let nobody touch anything but Mr. Woodstock here. Yeah. Greg is, Mr. He is the turtle king. Yeah, turtles. He's are the good pond. He loves turtles and he, he's the pond man. <laughs> As you say, Gators the pond guy will get it exactly right. So I'm going to have to get something because I don't think he's going to jump in there with the Gators to reach the snapper. Okay, so I'm going to get to the big snapper. Huh? The big snapper. <laughs> Pretty heavy, huh? Pull him out. Let Gorgeous. me check him out. Gorgeous, sir. So, what do you think he weighs? I'm gonna say 100 pounds. Yeah, I'd say about 105, 110. Yeah. And <laughs> always hungry for a little bit of payback. So, what do you think? I think he's got a little hole right there in the top of the shell. Oh yeah, he's had that forever. Okay, okay. So, you wanna pick him way up? Show everybody the hole underneath. Uh, how much does he weigh? 105 pounds, I want to say, yeah. I'm waiting until he tells me 120 and then I'm going to put it away. <laughs> now, whoo, okay, so, you feel gassed yet? I love my job. Ah, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. The cool part is he builds all these custom, amazing, amazing pond systems all over. You've got one just about the size. 90 pounds, yes. Okay, there we go. I'm going to let you go Let me see, let me see him real quick. Yep. Fly these out. I got to get my moment with him. Yes. So, yeah, I want to film. He feels pretty solid. Oh man, he's definitely right at 100, maybe about 110. This one right here is probably pushing 50 to 80 years old minimum. Yep. The size doesn't mean everything, but I have to have that's that. A health, that's a healthy animal. So I'm gonna go over here and show everybody real quick. What do you guys think? Is that crazy? Not Another crazy day. School, loving my job uh, and living the dream. So, you see why we came here? We're going back to Laura Claire. all the time we have to cut and modify some of these aqua blocks to fill in the small little voids back behind our vaults so we cut one for the front we've got this one that's going to slide right in here man of power <laughs> boom now we backfill Right, so they're back filling and if you notice if you look very very closely you're gonna see a different type of fabric back in there so Chad and Ed are holding a concrete cloth back in there that concrete cloth is actually gonna keep rodents and stuff from wanting to chew through there as the stuff gets wet there's a, it's actually a fabric with concrete embedded into it once it gets wet it turns rock rock hard so as those gophers come they'll hit that brick wall that concrete wall stop and say hey let's go this way instead so it's just cheap insurance we're gonna put it down around all the edges of this thing no need to put it underneath 
underneath because gophers aren't gonna go down two and a half feet deep. So we're gonna put it around the edges of this and then all the edges of our waterfall as we move up through here. Again, just as cheap insurance. A, a little bit. So we were talking earlier about how the first rock, and my eyes keep like going over there because they're building the waterfalls, but we were, <laughs> we were talking about the first rock and how it actually kind of sets the pace for everything else. And that first rock didn't go easy. A lot of times we could just tell by the way that first rock goes in what the other rocks are gonna be like. The challenging part with this waterfall is you have all these rounder boulders. And so when you're taking dinosaur eggs, if you will, you can't really match up joints. So we're actually trying to hide joints. So if this is a rock here, instead of trying to go like this, we go like this, which hides my ugly knuckles or the ugly edge of a rock. So when we come back like that, it works a lot better. So we set our big frame rock, which you guys are gonna see, which will be on, yeah, this side for you guys. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, the big frame rock. A lot of times, then we have to come in front of that one to make sure, like, especially if we're gonna come up really tall, that there's no way this will ever fall over. So we came in with one in front. That secures this thing. On the back side, we came out from the wall a little bit, which will backfill with soil. So we got this one set, this one set. Now we're doing the spill stone next to this guy and then we'll set the other frame rock next to that and then start doing the whole bottom area there it's one rock at a time we knew that on this job site on a job site like this where there's hard hard access you can't get multiple machines down here you also can't have multiple visions going on because you have to start at the bottom and work your way up to the top you can't have somebody working here and somebody working here so we start here start coming up start doing our wing walls off on the sides and then we climb our way back up out of the property so it's a good thing we have three days out here because I think we'll use every minute it up. So I thought instead of just showing you with my hands, we'd actually come over here and show you the rocks we're talking about. So this was that spill stone. And instead of trying to match the edge of this rock right up with this, which is gonna look ugly no matter what, we hide it. So we actually bring this rock back behind our big frame rock. And then we've got that rock. And once we get some rocks in here, this will lock all that together. The next rock we choose, instead of trying to match up against this ugly face right here, we'll actually come out in front of it. So if you can look where my green arm is, that rock will sit someplace in here kind of come out like that and then all that water will fall into this more of like this cavern back in this area which will really then shoot that sound up the slide through the house So half the people over there probably think I'm just being lazy standing over here and not being part of the action, but Ed and I build them ponds together for so many years, we trust in each other's vision. And your vision when building a waterfall is when you're right on top of it doesn't count because they're not gonna be sitting where Ed's at viewing the waterfall. They're gonna be sitting up here most of the time. So we wanna come up here and see what those rocks look like from this area. If they look good from here, of course they're gonna look good from down there. So I come up here and I take the important job of saying yay or nay, or maybe an inch to the left left, maybe an inch to the right, and it's safer. Hey guys, we never met. I'm Brian. Hey, Hi. Steven, nice to meet you. How's it going? Hi, Laura. Nice, nice to meet you. Awesome. It is, oh right? God. We're not even halfway up the hill. We're not even a quarter of the way up the hill. It's going to be loud. Good. Yeah. Wow. yeah. What's going to be loud? The waterfall. 
the waterfall. Oh, you'll hear it. Like, you'll be able to craft the windows for the doors and hear it effortlessly from inside the house. Effortlessly. That's nice. It's going to be cool. And yeah. they were saying you can, we can control it, right? Yeah, there's uh, actually a remote control pump. So yeah. if you're down and, like, and you're enjoying it by this patio, slow it down a little That's bit. Crazy. If you're all the way inside, then crank, crank it, it up. up. Or your friends come over and you're wow. like, watch this. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, my God. How long did it take you guys to find this property? I know you just moved oh in, God. right? Like a year. Yeah, just under a year. It's gorgeous, though. Thank you. Like yeah. to see this hill and everything oh, else. Yeah. Big giant slopes. It's like, oh, we can carve right into oh, it and create God. these cool waterfalls. And you've got like a, I don't know how Ed pulled it off, but you got kind of like an all-star team out here. Right. So every year we vote for the top artist of the year. And the way we pick it is by your peers. So you're the past artist of the year vote for the next top contractor in the world. And we've got people in Australia and Canada and wow. all over. And so Jack from Atlantis is a past artist of the year. Hussey is an artist of the year. Tim Wood and John Adams who are over at Jay from Prehistoric Pets right now. So you have like half the artist of the year here building your thing. And wow, that's amazing. And it's just kind of fun, right? And it's not 10 degrees. Fine. <laughs> See? See, we got a bunch of fabric down. We've got our waterfalls kind of set down in here. Now there's two ways we can go about this. We, we could fold the liner back, backfill with soil, but there's no way that soil is going to be stable. No matter how much we compact it, it's going to want to settle and move around. So you can see where Ed's at up here. He's actually going to start directing those guys to backfill with gravel on the inside of the liner in between our waterfalls and the liner. That gravel is going to provide an awesome solid base to continue to move up the hillside. When we're doing these larger waterfalls, especially when you're coming six, seven, eight feet up, we want to make sure everything's super solid so gravel is a much much better substitution than backfilling with soil you're gonna use a lot more gravel but you're not gonna have to come back and fix anything later check this out <laughs> I guess that's one way to call it quits. Just a little bit of snow slash hail. Unbelievable. Ow! Ouch. Quiet. That hurt. I came out here to get away from this crap. Right? We all leave the Midwest to come out here and it smells Oh on. my god. Some of those hurt. We did pretty good. The reservoir is in, 1,000 gallon reservoir. Frame rocks are set, wing wall over there, wing wall over here started. It yep, it's not snow. But you can make snowballs. <laughs> Try it. Look at Ed, such a child at heart. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I thought you were gonna loft it. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the end of the day. Snowball at the camera. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Bye.